Hello. Oh, and guess what time it is? Mid snack time. I got some peanut butter fudge. You can grab any other snack you want. So good. Okay, we have Jordan Alves here, and this man, good, he didn't feel that way well though, but he's still really good. He is still a great power hitter. I mean, he can hit home runs like crazy far, dude. He's just overall very good. I don't really have anything else to say there. There, he's not good at fielding though. He's kind of sloppy. I'm not very fast, but I mean, this man can hit. That's all I have to say about him. And here's his stats. Um, one sec, I'm gonna go get some water. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Okay, these are, they're not the sponsor, but shout out, out to these. They're amazing. In school, I get birds, so now what I do in school, I like this. I like that. Okay. Now, now Francisco Linder. Uh oh. That brown is coming, that fudge is coming back up. So, Francisco Linder, great shortstop, amazing, and his hair, I love it, and I would like his hair someday. That color doesn't go on me really that well, but Francisco Linder, great in the field, nasty in the field, and it, he has disgusting hitting, it's amazing, and yeah, here's his stats, he's still very good. You can tell I'm trying to pick up. See, see, I want to go watch the game downstairs. <laughs> and now, Ozzy Obbies. Let's just make this. There we go. Ozzy Obbies. He's right now hurt for a long time. For definitely a long time. And if you can see me looking at something over here, it's, it's actually a water bottle. I mean, who doesn't like the shade of blue? Right? right? And you can get like all these um, types of colors. I believe. I want to see my sister has a tie dye one in her room. Well, yeah, that's my sister for you. Ugh. Ozzy Obbies, great speed, great second baseman. If I had to pick my fan fantasy second baseman, it'd probably be him. Now, Jose Brave. He's really good. He's a great power hitter. Or uh, he's a great first baseman. Honestly, he wouldn't be my first selection as a fantasy baseball on my fantasy baseball team, but he'd definitely be one of my backups. Now, Justin Berlin. This man is crazy good. He's still good and he's pretty old. old. No offense to him or anything, but like, he's crazy. He's insane. He's been playing since 2005, it says. Shy. He is disgusting. He is great. He is. He'd be one of my top picks for my fantasy baseball team, for sure. He's so good. He's underrated in MLB The Show, for sure. 
now one of my favorite players. And if he's watching this, then respect, bro, respect. Nolan Arenado. He has won so many gold gloves. He is amazing, amazing. This year he had like 22 home runs in the start of, he had like 20 home runs in the start of August or something. And now he has like 25, which is insane. And it's August the 13th. So that's pretty good. Five home runs in 13 days. And this guy's, and this guy is still pretty young. So I can't, I can't wait to see, see, and I, but he's still really, really good. If you can hear anybody downstairs, it's my um, dad and my sister. My annoying, not my annoying, but my sister. She can be annoying sometimes. Ooh, card, 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 card. My credit card here. Swipe. Oh. No one here Arnold. Normally I'll throw my food. Baseball cards to the side, but no one in I respect him. One of my favorite baseball players. I'll say. Marcus Simi. This guy has been on the White Sox, Athletics, Blue Jays, and now he's on the Rangers. This man is good, still very good. And he is on the Rangers. Just how to do. Him and Curry Seeger. Have been turning the Rangers around. They used to be stinky to now they're okay. So, Marcus Simeon, he is amazing and he's. Yeah, and he's like 32, so. So, he's still pretty young. Curry Seeger, I was just talking about him. How he and Marcus Simeon are like carrying the Rangers right now. They are pretty good. Ooh, my mom. Okay, I feel like that water bottle, water bottle makes the water better. Okay, so Curry Seeger, really good. Um, yeah, he's really good. Did I show you stats on Marcus Simeon's card? I don't know if I did. I don't think I showed you on Nolan Leonardo's. Nolan Leonardo's. Marcus Simeon's. Curry Seegers. Curry Seegers. He's good, but he's kind of getting old. My dad just turned off one of the lights. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna, we're gonna talk about Shane Bieber. Or Shane Bieber, if you know what I mean. We could talk about Justin Bieber. Or Shane Bieber, what's the difference? So, Shane Bieber, really good. And how old is he? He's still pretty young, like 27 years old. No way. Yeah, 27 years old. That is insane. He is insane. He is amazing. I am amazing. Everybody's amazing. Oh, and it doesn't really show his stats on here. Yeah, that's why I didn't show you Jose Ray's stats. But I'll just show you what I guess. Now, the guy who we all know and almost everybody loves. The big man. He can pitch, he can hit, he can do anything. He's from Japan. So, hello, Tony. This man, great. So good. Wait a, wait a second. You're so good for it. Okay, I got some water. Yeah, I got some water on the card. Okay. Troy Otani, he can hit. He can pitch. This dude is insane, bro. He can hit home runs when he pitch like five innings, which is pretty insane. Shohei Otani there. I have a, and the thing that's so special about him. The thing that I like his card about me, I have one of him pitching and one of him hitting. So, if you have like five of him pitching, you can trade 
one of those pitching cards of him for one of him hitting. Like, if some kid in your class has five of him hitting and then you have five of him pitching, you can just, like, switch for, like, one for You can get one hitting and then you can get one pitching. No Julio Arias. Good. He's, he's pretty good. I wouldn't say he's insane, though, but, yeah, he's pretty good. He'd definitely be one of my fantasy selections. He wouldn't be one of my... He, he might not be one of my starters, even though he does pitch as a starter. I might put him at reliever, or, but, yeah, he's pretty good. No, Tommy Edmund. Oh, I can't hold baseball cards. Tommy Edmund. He can play almost every infield position. And he can play outfield, which is pretty insane. And he's fast. He can steal bases. I don't care about that notification. Um, so, yeah. Um, he has pretty good. It doesn't show his stats or anything. Just some burnt stuff on like that. But overall, he's pretty good. Matt Chapman. And now, as I am recording... I am Matt Chapman. I'm a got traded to the Blue Jays, and um, and he's still pretty good on the Blue Jays. He's their starter, third baseman, and I'm a, that's pretty much all about Matt Chapman. I have to say. Oh, and here's his stats. Um. Um, so, oh, and now Chipper Jones, um, I'm, a, um, like, I'm kind of sad, because it's kind of, I think Lucas, when we were step when he stepped on my cards, I think he ripped the seven, have seven, I wonder who that could be. Go away. <laughs> you might do the mess up my friends. <laughs> gonna run. Go downstairs. <laughs> now, as my sister got in my way, way, I'll talk to my dad about my sister later. And I hope she doesn't get in the way any of my videos again. Honestly, I'm kind of mad. But I'll beat her up after this. No, DJ LeMahon. He's really good. He can play a lot of positions in the infield. Um, I believe he's played first base one time. Um, but yeah, he's averagely pretty good. He's not a power hitter, but he is a hitter. So, so that's one thing. His stats, and if you want to see Chipper Jones, doesn't really have his stats, but he do, does have a couple stuff. Jordan Mont. Montgomery, Jordan Montgomery, um, he's a pitcher, and right now he just got traded to the Cardinals, and he's, he, his first game, he played for the Cardinals, um, uh, um, uh, he shot his own former team up the first game that he, he um, uh, played, he shut up at the Colonel's student, please leave. Jim, actually. Oh my gosh. Sisters. What's up? Tim Anderson. Good short stop. Right now he's suspended. Um, but overall, good short stop. I don't know how he got the starting move. Rolling the All Star game, that I'm kind of confused by that, but I mean, not much of a big deal by me. Not like he did much. Probably would have Xander Bogarts would have done better starting. Rafael Devers, I love this guy. He's young. He's good. He's amazing. He can play pretty good defense too. So yeah. 
stats dabbers for you. Or if you want to see Tim Anderson's stats, here they are. Nothing much. And here's Devers stats. Now, one of the guys that I just got in a pack, Anthony Rizzio. This man is good. He wasn't that power hitter in Chicago, but he plays for the Yankees now. And he's going full out bomb. He is one of the best first basemen in the game. Honestly, if I had to, if I had to pick um, uh, my third, my starter first baseman, it'd be between him, Vladdy, and Gold. So, yeah. Oh, and if you wanted to know that um, uh, other third baseman I'd pick with Jose Ramirez, probably be Devers or Arenado. Now, for the old MVP and probably... And probably there's no way he's not in the Hall of Fame. Mike Trout, amazing. As you can see, he can rob home runs too. In my other video, I um, um did highlights of him, so go check that out. Um, and yeah, it's just overall amazing. I love this guy. Good home run hitter. He probably be me um uh, probably. Like he'd be in the top five for home runs if he didn't get hurt. Um, uh, Clayton Kershaw. He's good. He gets hurt a couple times. He didn't have the greatest season in 2021, but he, he has came back in 2022. He came back strong, this man. Oh, yeah. He really just throw. Oh, and if you wanted to see Anthony Rizzio's stats, they are. He doesn't really have any stats. I don't know why he did that. But okay. Is that a baseball card? Did I do that baseball card or not? Clayton Kershaw. Stats. He's good. I'm going to go see if I can get this baseball card. Oh, was he out of it? Yes, I did him. Okay. Aaron Judge. Beast. Can bomb them. He can feel what he can rob. He is amazing. He will bomb them. He's doing him. He's doing amazing. He's even better than he's better than everybody. With my trout, I don't know. They should play each other in the home room derby. That's how we solve this case. Cody Ballinger. He's good. He was really, really good. Then he started to kind of slow down, you know. But now he's doing pretty well. With Mookie on his side, baby. Yeah, so that's Cody. That's Judge for you. Both of them. Good. Oop. Joey Votto. He's he's pretty old, and but he's still doing amazing. I love this guy. When is up, your boy Pizza? I don't wanna. So Joey Votto. Good. I love this man. I love his personality, and I love the way he plays first base. He says he's not going to retire for a long time, which I'm glad. No. Bryce Harper. He's good. Kind of mean and aggressive, but yeah, he's good. He's really good. So he does get injured an awful lot, but besides that, he'd be really good. He'd probably be in like the top 10 for the most home runs. But sadly, he got injured, broke a thumb. I think he's coming back soon. Donsby Swanson. This man is underrated like crazy. He'd be one of my top selections for my fantasy baseball team. He kind of is, honestly. So, Donsby Swanson, amazing. And you might be saying, Jim, do you regret? Picking him as your main shortstop. No, I do not, because he is young and he's amazing. Carlos Correa. He's not what well, he's not as good as the guy that I just showed you. But yeah, he's good. He's good. He's decent. He moved to Minnesota, which I don't know if that necessarily helped him or it didn't, but yeah. Just show some. He's really good. Chaz Chosen plays second base and shortstop, I believe. But I think he mainly 
plays second base. He can hit homers. Sadly, he got injured and it was worse than expected. Sadly. Aaron Nola, he's a great pitcher. Um, he's a little... He... he he definitely had an off year in 2020 among one, but he was amazing in 2018 with a 2.37 year already. That's amazing. You know what? He's good. Shane McClain. This guy is, I think, pretty young. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he. Oh, yeah, this man is young. He. I, I just can't believe this dude. Yeah, he'd be one of my first picks, for sure, as my starter pitcher. But he might actually be my first pick. He'd, pro he'd definitely be one of them, by me first pick. Pretty hard to get that with me. And now, Austin Riley. This man is old, um, young. I almost said old. He's young. He had an incredible year in 2021. And, um, he's having an incredible year now. So, yeah, really good. Trevor's dirty. I think he's doing better in Boston right now. He has been injured for quite a long time. If you heard that, it was the dog. Trevor, he's done this for a long time. He's, um, I wouldn't say he's that old. Nah, he's not old. Just so he's been playing since 2011. Which, yeah, so he's, he's decently young. I don't care if the Blue Jays beat the Guardians. Donald Trump was, I don't care. Care. Okay, Mookie Betts. Amazing. He can catch. He can, he has the speed. He can steal. He can do. He's one of the best. One of the best ever. He might be better than Mickey Mantle. Well, maybe not now, but he will. Okay, and we have Manny Machado. Two Padres left. Manny Machado. This guy is good. I don't know why the Dodgers and Orioles gave him away. He's he is just doing good right now. He since Tatis is injured and has an eighty game suspension that just happened yesterday. The game suspension. Man, but Manny Machado, man. This guy is unbelievable, bro. Oh. And now, we're on to our last card. Fernando Tatis Jr. The guy that just got suspended. But, he is amazing. I can't believe it. He is so good. Good. And he's still so incredibly young. He'd be one of my top picks for shortstop and for, for he's fast. He can play shortstop. I don't care, care if Key Brian Hayes is not starting in my lineup. He's my starter, third baseman for my ESPN fantasy team. Honestly, I think I regret picking him. I don't think I did pick him. I think I picked a lot of people. And then I let it go to auto pick for a little bit. I'm doing public reads. I'm playing on beginner. Beginner is kind of easy though. I didn't know that beginner. I didn't know beginner. I thought I knew. I thought beginner was for like people who didn't know a lot about who um uh, were young. But then, but it turns out it's for people who don't know a lot about baseball. So I'm destroying the grown ups. Kids rule all the way, baby. Fernando Tatis, great, amazing. I can't believe it. Yeah, I'm so sad that he won't be. He, I'm um, playing for the remainder of the season. That's all I have to say. Like and subscribe. Peace out.